In these problems, we're dealing with something called direct variation. And you'll see language like this. Um, well, this one says, the number of gears a machine can make varies directly. When something varies directly with something else, if we said y varies directly with x, we would write it like this. y equals the constant of variation times x. And the way this works is you set up an equation with some numbers for y and x. You find out what the constant of variation is by solving for it. Then you usually use that constant of variation to solve a second problem. Let me show you how that works here. So it says that the number of gears varies directly with the time of the operation. So a machine is making gears, and clearly the longer it operates, the more gears it makes. So it makes sense that these two things vary directly. I'm going to call the number of gears g. k is our constant of variation. And then the time, I'll call t. So the number of gears varies directly with time. It says, if it can make 609 gears in three hours. Uh huh. So 609 is the number of gears that it makes in three hours. So we have a formula now that we can use to solve for k. So let's divide by 3 to solve for k. And we get k equals 203. All right, so now we have our constant of variation. Let's see what the rest of the problem says. How many gears can it make in seven hours? OK, this time we don't know what g is. So we'll just put that in, g. And we do know what k is now. It's 203. And they're telling us seven hours. So we just need to multiply 7 times 203. And I think that's 1,421. So in seven hours, it can make 1,421 gears. Let's try another problem like this. All right, this one says the amount of a person's paycheck is directly proportional to the number of hours worked. That's another type of language, just as varies directly. Directly proportional means kind of the same thing here. So the amount of a person's paycheck, so let's call the paycheck P, is directly proportional, so there's our constant of variation, to the number of hours worked. So we'll put an hours there. So paycheck, constant of variation, hours worked. And then it says, for working 14 hours, the pay is $107.80. We can use those two numbers to figure out what our constant of variation is. So 107, 80 equals the constant of variation times the 14 hours they worked there. So if we divide both sides by 14, we should find that k is 7.7. .7. And then it says find the pay for 25 hours of work. So we'll just use this formula. We want to find the pay. And we have the constant of variation now, that's 7.7, .7, and times the 25 hours of work. So 7.7 .7 times 25 looks like that is 192.50. So that is the pay for 25 hours of work. Not a very high wage. And that's a little bit of work with direct variation.